Good morning students. Let us continue our lesson to food, health and hygiene. Yesterday in my video, I told you about communicable diseases and today I will tell you about its prevention of communicable diseases. So what is the meaning of the prevention? Prevention it means the action of stopping something uh, from happenings. So it's known as prevention and uh, communicable diseases can be prevented by taking following precautions like education. Education it means will show you how to save yourself, yourself from any communicable diseases. That's why education will bring awareness and people will learn how to protect themselves from these diseases. Next is isolation. So what is the meaning of the isolation? It means the state of being separate and alone. Like a person who is suffering from chickenpox and measles diseases. So they should be kept in a separate room. And uh, his cloths and other articles of patient should be kept separate and disinfected. And uh, with children uh, suffering from a chickenpox and measles diseases, so should not go to school till they are fully recovered. Next is sanitation. So what is the meaning of the sanitation? It means the equipment and systems that keep places clean especially by re removing human waste like garbage, drains, polluted water, food, exposed to dust and flies. And these flies carry lot of germs and they cause many diseases. So we should drink clean and germ free water and uh, we should spray DDT. DDT it means the full form of the DDT is dichlorodiphenyl trichlorothane. It is commonly known as DDT. So DDT is a chemical to kill the germs. So we can remain healthy to in clean and green environment. Next is vaccination. Vaccination, what is the meaning of the vaccination? Vaccination is a biologic, biologically prevention that improve immunity to a particular diseases. It means vaccine, vaccination is a technique to develop the ability of the body to fight against diseases. And when a vaccine of a particular disease is to give to a healthy person, he develop an ability to fight against the germs of these diseases. So this ability of the fighting against germ is called the immunity. So today so many vaccines are available against many diseases like polio, smallpox, cholera and measles. So first vaccine is DBT. DBT vaccine is prevent to diphtheria diseases, tetanus, etc. And next Whose uh, patient has suffering from polio? So polio vaccine is given to the prevent polio. Next is MMR. MMR vac vaccine is given to prevent measles, mumps and rubella. So that's all for today. Keep revising.